everyone welcome to ellen digital i hope my children have watched harry potter by jk rowling and you are very well aware of the characters as well like harry potter hermione professor dumbledore and in the place of their name if i would have said smart or intelligent harry potter beautiful hermione huge dumbledore so what did i do children yes i have added qualities in front of their name to give more information about them so what is the topic of the day what are we going to study that is none other than one of the parts of speech that is adjectives that means we will be modifying a noun let us understand with a few more examples here it says quiet space two words you will be seeing everywhere the second word word is a noun sun and the first word is an adjective which is giving more information about a noun be it color be it size big earth huge dumbledore be it opinion right a wonderful world we are talking about world what kind of a world wonderful world color blue sea right i hope you are able to understand the next we can see amazing view mesmerizing view so be it manner be it color be it shape all these words which i have spoken they are adjectives so this is what we are going to study in complete detail in this video with its definition then degrees of comparison types of adjective and lastly orders of adjective So let's have a look at the definition of adjective. An adjective is a word that describes or tells us more about a noun. It modifies a noun. It gives more information about a noun it adds something to a noun and the example says a big bat we are talking about size of a bat a cute dog appearance of a dog a red car here we are talking about color of car right let's see something more about adjectives and it says adjectives are usually placed before the nouns or pronouns whatever examples we have seen just now and whatever examples i have spoken related to harry potter everywhere we have seen that adjectives we have written just in front of a noun but sometimes they come after the nouns as well let us understand with a few examples look at wendy's ponytails they are long so now we are using long for ponytail but long is written after the noun right second one it says look at bunny he looks funny if we would have written in the form of look at funny bunny that would also have been correct but what i am trying to tell you here is that sometimes when qualities sometimes when adjectives are written after noun then they are known as predicative use and when an adjective is written in front of a noun it is known as an attributive use quiet space amazing view mesmerizing world right now let us start seeing types of adjectives children when we are talking about different modifiers different types of adjectives so here is a list when we are talking about qualitative adjectives that means qualities and everywhere in the examples in the initial stage we have seen all about qualities quantitative when we are talking about some quantity when we do not know the exact number possessive belonging interrogative questioning demonstrative demonstrating this that these those adjective of number one pen two pens so when we know the exact number and distributive it means when we are talking about distribution so let us see each and everything in complete detail so the very first one which is in front of us that is qualitative adjective when an adjective describes the quality of a noun it is known as an adjective of quality i read an interesting book which book an interesting book so this quality is written in front of a noun and when we are talking about adjectives of quality so they can be shape spherical rectangular size huge tiny color manner manner well behaved polite decent and there are many more categories when we talk about adjective of qualities this we will be seeing in the last when we will be seeing orders of adjectives right here it says an elephant has big ears we are talking about size the fat cat appearance he has purchased a old car an old car no he has purchased a new car so we are talking about 
age. So next we have quantitative adjectives. So when we will be talking about quantitative adjectives, they refer to how much or how many. When we do not know the exact number, exact quantity, some, any, many, much, a few, the few, a little, the little. So all these things represent quantitative adjective children. When we will be asking how much or how many and these are some of the examples. I mean these are some of the categories, right? Let us see some of the examples and the example says, the very first one says there are many pens in the box. So we are talking about pens and we are using many in front of it. So many is a word which will be used with countable nouns, right? And the opposite of many is what? That is much. Much will be used with an uncountable noun. I hope you all are making notes of it. Next we have Anshu gave the poor man some food, some. Any. Why I am explaining two things together? Because this is the thing which we should know, which one should know. That is why with many, I have explained you about much. With some, I am taking any. Some food, any food. So when I am talking about some and any, they are used with countable as well as uncountable noun. But the point is then how to differentiate? Some will be used when we are talking about a positive statement and any will be used when we are talking about a statement that gives us a negative sense. He has solved the problem without any difficulty. That means with no difficulty. It is giving us a sense of negation. Right. The next one we have, he has put a little milk in the cup. Little, a little and the little will be used with uncountable noun. And here in this set, in this statement, a little means we are talking about some at least. The next one we can see he has much money. Many with countable and much with uncountable. Right. Next we have possessive adjective. Possessive when we will be talking about ownership, belonging, possession at that time. It is known as possessive adjective. A possessive adjective does not replace the noun. But they come before the noun. For example, I say, this is my pen. So I have written my just in front of pen. So my is a possessive adjective. And when I say, this pen is mine, at that time I am saying mine. So there I am using possessive pronoun. I hope you know possessive pronoun, demonstrative pronoun. If no, then you should go through all those things first. The next it says, this is my house. See, just in front of house. Our teachers made these paintings. Whose teachers? Our teachers. The lost cat found its home. And the last one, your cycle was stolen yesterday. So just in front of noun, you can see we have used possession to express possessive adjective, right? Next, we have interrogative adjectives where we are going to question. So two things will be done here. First thing is that it will be asking a question also. And second thing, it will be giving more information about a noun. And this is what it says. It is used to ask a question and also qualifies a noun. Hence, it is known as an interrogative adjective. There are three WH words which we will be using as an interrogative adjective. And what are they? What, which and whose. Nothing else. So some of the examples are, what color is the postman's uniform? Which tree is the tallest? Whose book is this? As you can see, what you can see? Attributive or predicative use. So you can see attributive uses here of an interrogative adjective. I hope you are able to understand. The next we are able to see demonstrative adjectives. When we are demonstrating this, that, these, those. Yes, the same words are written here. This, that, these, those are demonstrative adjectives. Let us have a look at some of the examples. The flowers on this tree look so pretty. So we are talking about something singular. That is why we are using this and that too, which is near to us. These glasses contain orange juices, something which is near to us, but more in number. So these glasses. The next one says, those rabbits are furry. So when I say those rabbits, so there are more than one, but they are far away. 
Those rabbits are furry. Is furry an adjective here? If yes, what is it representing about rabbit? Is it demonstrating quality, quantity, word? Think on that. The next one we have adjectives of number, numeral adjective. When we know the exact number, one, two, three, four, or what? And this is what it says that they are used for countable noun for the exact number or the exact amount. And some of the examples are my neighbor had two pets, there are 10 students. As we are talking about numbers children, so numbers can be cardinal as well as ordinal, yes or no. So this is what we are seeing here, cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers. Cardinal 1, 2, 3, 4 and ordinal means first, second, third, last, right? The basket contains seven mangoes and he was sitting in the third row. So this is all about adjective of numbers. Next we have distributive adjectives when we will be talking about distribution and when we talk about distribution we have four in them. Each, every, either, neither. Where do we use each? Where do we use every, either, neither? Each girl is wearing a hat. So when I say each girl is wearing a hat, that means I'm talking about one at a time in the big group. I'm talking about all the members, but individually. And when I say every child has special talent, that means I'm talking about them collectively. That means considering them as one, the whole group as one. That is why I'm saying every child has special talent, right? The next one we have either path and the last one we have neither answer is correct. So either means two things you have in front of you and you are choosing one out of two. And when we are talking about neither, you are choosing zero out of two. I hope it is clear. Next we have degrees of comparison. So we are done with types of adjectives, that means different modifiers. So when we are talking about degrees of comparison children, what do we mean by degrees? Degrees means a level, an extent, to which extent a thing can go. When we talk about our angles, we see zero angle, it opens and opens and acute and right and obtuse and straight and then it goes to the complete angle. So this is the level, this is the extent, this is the degree. So the same degrees of comparison we are going to see in adjective. Positive, comparative and superlative. When we use adjectives to compare person or things, we use degrees of comparison, right? An adjective of quality changes. Whatever qualities we are talking about beautiful, more beautiful and most beautiful. So the qualities change form when it is used to compare one noun with another. And what are the three degrees of comparison? Positive, funny, comparative, funnier and the last one superlative that is funniest. No comparison, comparison between two, comparison between among more than two, right? So the next one is positive degree. No comparison. We are giving the quality to a boy. Rohan is a tall boy. And the next one we see the comparative degree is used to compare two objects. You can see in the picture two of the boys are compared here. Rohan is taller than Ahmed. And when Rohan is compared with more than two, then what we will write? Rohan is the tallest of the three boys. So this is superlative form, superlative degree. After understanding about degrees of comparison, we are seeing formation of degrees of comparison. There are various rules. When you have seen singular noun, how to convert a singular noun to a plural noun, how to convert a masculine to feminine. So there are rules behind them. So this is all about a glimpse of all about degrees of comparison. As you can see in the positive when it ends with a consonant like short, slow, we are adding ER and EST to make it comparative and superlative. When you see it, when they already have E behind them, so we don't add ER, we are just adding R and ST. When the word is ending with Y, how are we changing it into comparative, heavier? Remove Y and write I-E-R. Remove Y and write I-E-S-T. Sometimes we double the last consonant also. Sad, sadder, thin, thinner, thinnest, right? And in the next one, the busy and heavy goes same. The last one when we see the second last children, that is wonderful written. Wonderful, beautiful. This change 
into or this changes into more wonderful and most wonderful why because whatever we have seen from here till here they have one syllable or maximum two syllables the moment any of the words will have more than two syllables then the structure from positive to comparative and superlative goes in this order now what do we mean by syllable syllable means when we are talking about sound of vowel right like here it is written slow oh so sound of vowel is one busy b z e e sound of vowel are two right but when we talk about wonderful it has three speak like i have been speaking you will be able to find that there are three or more than two simply right and the last one is known as irregular adjectives many or much turns to more or most good better best bad worse and worst right so next we are going to see how are we placed that means when we are talking about a lot many qualities then there definitely is an order of adjectives order that how they will be placed so this is an order no 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 this is not an order at all what is the order this is an order and when we talk about the order how are we going to remember them we are going to remember them when we shorten them and when we pick up the first letters of each word and write an acronym in front of that that is osascom and now you can see o stands for opinion size age shape color origin origin indian thai food chinese food material golden wooden plastic and the purpose like washing machine so that machine is used for washing only washing machine right let us understand with the help of these two examples my sister adopted a beautiful big white bulldog acha one thing more i would like to tell here children that is that we are not supposed to write more than three qualities of a single noun why we are writing more than 3 here just to explain you that what is the order of an adjective okay look at this example this archaeologist found a lovely opinion little size tiny huge big age old new shape i have already given a lot of examples color you know it well origin egyptian indian and the last one material marble and more about material if i say so golden plastic right and the last one is purpose though we don't have an example of purpose here but i have told you like washing machine right so i hope you have been able to understand all these things very well we started from adjectives something that modifies a noun gives more information about a noun and then we have seen types of adjective degrees of comparison and in the last we have seen orders of adjective i hope you have been able to understand each and everything and i have been able to convey whatever i know to you and i hope you all have made notes also as well along with that stay happy stay tuned and thank you for watching this video